Hello everyone, welcome to the class. This is the orientation video for Math 26.5 by Professor J. Kelly. So this video covers based on these outlines. First of all, we will uh, review syllabus and then I also let you know how to utilize the blackboard and how to complete the course with a higher grade and how to meet your professor. Okay, then let's go to the course syllabus. Before letting you know how to, I mean, introducing the syllabus, I need to let you know how to find the syllabus. So to find the syllabus, you need to log in to your BMCC course blackboard. So this is the our BMCC website, and then you log in your CUNY first and then find your Blackboard site. So as you see, Blackboard is right here, and click that, and log in, and you need to find your course. So as you see, our course is located right here. So I'm gonna click that. Then now you will get into this page. Now click the course information. Then you will see syllabus and some other videos here. So this time we will focus on uh, review the syllabus. I'm gonna open one of this file. Okay, so this time I'm gonna open uh, Word document file. Okay. So as I told you, I opened the, the Word document. And this is our course syllabus here. So this uh, course number is Math 26.5 and semester Spring 2021. And as you know, class hour eight, but it will offer four credit. So even though I attached my office phone number and the office number, but it wouldn't work on this semester because this course is operating virtually. Now you also know these two different email addresses, so you can approach me whenever you have any questions. Okay, then now uh, you can read all this description that you understand, but I'm gonna cover the most important part of the syllabus. So as you know, this is the ZTC, Zero Testable Cost, and the OER, Open Education Resource Class. So there's no textbook required. However, I recommend you TI-30X calculator or equivalent to scientific calculator because uh, you need to utilize it to solve like an equation problem, factoring, logarithm, exponential value. So you need a scientific calculator. Okay. Now I'm gonna move down. So this is the our evaluation factors. So basically, final exam 30% and midterm 15% and homework over 15% and quiz and class discussion over 10%. So there will be over 100%. And then the midterm and final exam will be departmental exam. Okay. Here's one thing I'm going to highlight. It's really important to remember for this class. To pass the course, you must have an overall course grade of 70% or higher. As you know, this is the combination course between intermediate algebra and pre-calculus. Therefore, we are going to make sure you are ready to pursue calculus class. Therefore, we, we require every student to get better than 70% or at least 70%. Okay? It is not just your final exam score. Overall, your term average score will be 70% or higher. Now, what if 
you wouldn't get, wouldn't achieve this amount of grade. Then unfortunately, you are not passing this class. Therefore, uh, we offer math 56 um, exams instead, so that if you pass math 56 final, 70% uh, or higher, then you waive taking math 56, and then you can take math 206 next semester. If you don't want to take 56 um, uh, exemption exam, then you can just uh, enroll 206.5 course next semester again. Okay, now here is some uh, requirement and information. So this is a virtual class. As you know, we are not meeting regularly. This is an asynchronous class, so there's no meeting required. However, I'm going to let you know my office hour. So first of all, you must participate, participate in the class weekly and complete each week's course materials. I will explain how to complete that later. When you submit homework, exam, and final exam. You must include working on finding the answer. If any answer is submitted without showing the work, it will be counted as zero. The third, you must create a single document or PDF file for their submission of homework, exam, and final exam. Then also, I will let you know how to do it. Please remember that if the submission file is more than one document, for example, you will maybe make a multiple page of document and then upload separately. For example, let's say you complete a total of five pages of homework and you don't make a single PDF file. Instead, you are making one page per each PDF file and submit it on the blackboard, then only the first page or first document I see will be graded here. Please remember that you must submit single PDF file every document, homework, exam, even final exam. Okay. Now, you have any issue, then you must notify me. In this case, please remember that. Homework will be only 70% and the exam will be only 80% counted. Okay? Now, the number five, when you write an e email to me, please review and clarify what you want to say thoroughly before sending an email to me. For example, Hi, Professor, I'm David. I have a question, blah, 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 blah like that. So one thing is missing is your class code. So if you just say, I'm David, I have a question that I don't know which class you are referring to. So when you email me, please include class code as well. For example, if you just say, hi, professor, I'm David, you are taking your Math 206.5 class, session number 0502, something like that. Then it's, it, it will be much easier for me to find you and then respond to your question. Okay? So please remember that you must include your name and class number as well. Okay. So this is outline for the, this class and then I will let you know how to complete each chapter and based on weekly material later. Okay. Then I'm going to move to Blackboard from now on. So Blackboard case, uh, as you know, if you log in that, that with, uh, screen, I mean, that this site you will see the first. Now I'm going to make weekly announcement all the time. But now the first thing, the course information. So as you know, this class require submit all your work as a single PDF document. Now you have two different videos. 
One is created by me, and the other one created by Professor Kersin's uh, beautiful daughter. I mean, you can choose either video, and you wanna know, but you wanna know more step by step how to submit your homework as a single PDF file. Then you can also watch my video too. Okay. So because these two video explain how to create that thoroughly, so I'm gonna just rely on this video for you to understand. Now I'm gonna review course material. So course material designed as a weekly. So now week one, that's the week, uh, week one guide. So you have the, so basically week one topics solving equation and solving absolute value equation and solving linear inequality and compound inequalities. Now then where you can find all your textbook is right here. And now this chapter one workbook is right here. Okay. So if you click that, then this is pop up sign and then just uh, save it. Then you will see our textbook on chapter one. Okay. So and then just read it. And now workbook, you click that also save it and open it. Then all these homeworks are from this workbook. Okay. So you must print out or you don't you, if you don't want to print out then you must have, you must save it so that when you do any homework, then you have no problem. Okay. Then the third one is you can also see lecture video here. So solving equation, then there are list of the solving equation. Okay. And solving absolute value equation like that. Then we attach the many different uh, videos here. Okay. And you watch that. Then mostly you will understand all these homework questions. Then how to submit the homework. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume you save workbook and solve all this problem. Maybe. Uh, you can just uh, print out and then just uh, working on these pages or you can use maybe blank paper and then uh, copy the question, show your work and then clarify your answer. And now using the cam scanner app, which I already post on the blackboard and submit it basically. So let's say you save it on your computer, then just click that week one assignment folder and now click browse my computer and find your appropriate file something like that and open submit that's how you do it then you i, I will see your file and then i will create your homework later basically okay and then um not every week though but Sometimes we have a weekly discussion. So this time, you know, it is better to know, we is better get to know each other. So we want discussion is introduction to your site. So click that and create thread. Then just uh, type your name and just to answer, you know, we want discussion problem here. Okay. So I'm going to continue next part from the next video. Okay, please stay tuned.